Hundreds of servicemen were believed to be located at the Russian Armed Forces Artillery Depot in Toropets, which was hit by Ukraine. Russian propagandist Anastasia Kashevarova drew attention to an important moment in the explosion of the artillery depot of the Russian Defense Ministry in the Tver region. Hundreds of Russian military personnel were presumably in the affected area. She wrote about this on her Telegram channel. According to official data from the Russian authorities, 13 people were injured in the destruction of the warehouse. However, there are serious doubts about the veracity of this information. Kashevarova drew attention to the fact that the Russian Defense Ministry had previously boasted of the large capacity of the warehouse. The generals claimed that the facility's utility block alone could accommodate 200 people. This means that the total number of personnel is most likely higher. Typically, the utility block is designed to accommodate support personnel such as cooks, service personnel, and those responsible for supplies, medicine, and maintenance of basic infrastructure. The main combat and command staff of the base occupies other living quarters and is not included in the calculations of the utility block. Thus, the total number of personnel can be two to five times higher. For example, if 200 people are part of the support services, then the base can accommodate 400 to 1,000 people, including combat personnel, technical personnel, and command. How many of ours died there, and judging by the explosions and footage, nothing was left of the bodies? Kashevarova wrote, she spoke very boldly about the Russian military leadership, accusing it of lying and surrendering Russia. How much more can we lie and make mistakes? How many times have we heard that it's enough to panic, enough to write something, enough to blame the Ministry of Defense and the general staff? There's a war going on. So really, those who sit with calm faces and watch the explosions that look like mushrooms, at least panic a little. There's a war going on, and we have mistake after mistake complained the Z propagandist. She is sure that the huge funds allocated for the construction of the warehouse were stolen and the facility itself was built haphazardly. The SVO was in its third year and stupidity was stable. Formations in full view of the enemy continued. Driving in columns without a distance continued. Storing all the shells in one place in full view of the enemy continued. Filming and publishing photos and videos confirming their hits from Ukrainians continued. Helicopters and planes were hidden in foil hangars, or not hidden at all. Kashevarova was angry. She called the Russian Ministry of Defense a bubble. About 25 children and adults were injured Wednesday when a wagon carrying them overturned at a western Wisconsin apple orchard. The children, parents and chaperones were on a field trip to the orchard in Lafayette when one of two wagons being pulled by a tractor turned sideways and rolled over, Chippewa County Sheriff Travis Hakes told reporters. Hakes said the tractor was traveling at a low speed when the wagon rolled over while going downhill. Three people suffered critical injuries, while injuries to five others were considered serious. Authorities didn't say how many of the injured were children. The elementary school-age children attend a school in Eau Claire. Lafayette is northeast of Eau Claire. So during a field trip today in the town of Lafayette, several children along with parents and chaperones were on a wagon ride through an apple orchard. It was off public roadway. During the time, one of the wagons began to lose control as it was descending on a hill. They attempted to stop the wagon from descending down the hill sideways and it abruptly overturned. When the wagon overturned, there were multiple injuries to both children and adults. There were three patients transported with life-threatening injuries, five more patients transported with serious injuries, nine more additional patients were also transported by ambulance, and at least one patient was transported via helicopter. Some of the patients were transported in personal vehicles. They were small children, elementary age, 